Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time to learn how to check how long installing a macOS update will take on Mac. Wondering how long it will take to install a macOS update? Don't worry, because newer versions of macOS provide an estimated installation time before you begin the update process. This can help you plan ahead and avoid interruptions while your Mac updates. In this guide, I'll show you how to start the right way. So first off, you have to launch the system settings app on your Mac. Alternatively, you have to click on the Apple menu located at the top left corner of the screen and then choose the system settings option in the drop down menu. After that, you have to select the general option. Then click on software update and under the available updates option, look for a message called once downloaded this update will take about 20 minutes to install. The time may vary depending on the update. Note that these estimates aren't always precise as installation time can vary based on factors like update size, system performance and even Apple servers. During installation, your Mac will reboot and display a progress bar sometimes with a time remaining estimate to give you an idea of the remaining process. However, these estimates are only approximations and may not always be accurate. In some cases, an update may be expected to take 15 minutes but could extend to 2 hours or even more. While uncommon, it does happen. And now it's time to learn how to speed up macOS software updates. The only way to accelerate a macOS update is by using a faster internet connection, which helps download the update more quickly. So if you have high speed internet, but the update is downloading slowly, Apple servers may be overloaded, especially during major software releases. However, the unpacking, verification and installation phases take time and cannot be sped up, as they depend on system processes. So keep this important thing in your mind while trying to update your Mac and that's about it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and do subscribe for more such handy macOS tips and tricks. I'll catch you up in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.